What's good everyone, it's Steve back with another video today. And for today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Air Jordan 1 High OG in the taxi colorway. Okay, so starting off with the box with the Air Jordan 1 High OG in the taxi colorway, as you can see here, it is an all over yellow box with a black Nike logo. And I did get these in a size US 10 and a half. And the colorway reads taxi black sale in the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. So as far as how I secured this pair, this is a colorway that I've had my eyes on for some time. I know there are some samples that date back three or four years ago. I believe it was 2019. There was a sample with an exclamation mark on it. I can't remember the band name for the life of me, but there was a band member that kind of had his own exclusive pair, but it's more or less the exact same pair that he had back in 2019. Moving over forward here in 2022, they finally release in this black, white, or sail and uh, taxi colorway. It's a very clean colorway. It's very reminiscent of the shattered backboard with the orange, whereas here you have that yellow. Um, it's a colorway that I've had my eye on for some time. They sold out really quickly. They're not reselling for a ton right now. I've been seeing about three to 350 Canadian, probably about 250 USD. Um, so it's not terrible, but I just walked into my champs randomly on Black Friday. I was looking for, just to see if they had anything new on the shelf for basketball, and I came across these. They did have a size 10 and a half left, and I did pick them up with the intention of keeping them, but my brother, Mike, actually saw these, and he is a huge Boston Bruin fan, and their colorway is black and yellow with some white. So I'm just gonna pass these along to my brother, Mike, for retail. He is pretty stoked to get these. I believe they're his first Air Jordan 1s as far as the 1s go. But overall, it's a clean colorway. As far as the materials go, you're getting similar to materials to the shattered backboard. So that really overly pebbled look here on the ankle collar and on that sail portion right here as well. It's really pebbled, very soft. It's gonna be very nice on foot and it's gonna break in really quickly. Um, you do have that imprinted Wings logo right here for Air Jordan, the Wings logo. You have a black swoosh and you have a sail midsole here with a taxi or yellow outsole. And this is one of the best tractions of all time. I actually played in my black and royal colorway from 2001 on court exclusively. And that traction just screeches on court. So I know Nightwing always preaches that the Air Jordan 1 have the best traction of all time. And I've actually played in a pair really consistently back in the day. And I can confirm that. But moving your way to the upper, you do have some black hits here on the toe on the upper right here. And then you have this black nylon tongue with the white patch with the yellow Nike Air. And this is just a very clean colorway. Uh, down the line, if I come across another size 10 and a half, I'll probably pick it up for myself. But when my brother Mike saw these, he was all over it. He wanted them right away. Um, as far as the insole goes in these, these do kind of have that recycled black polyurethane. I do prefer the white one, but this is definitely comfier than the standard Air Jordan 1 insole. So I don't mind it at all. And it's actually called Dream Cell. So I know it's something new that Jordan brand is using, but for me, I prefer the thicker white polyurethane insole, but this one is better than the standard one that usually comes in the Air Jordan 1. Let me know down in the comments though, is this a colorway that you guys were looking forward to? or is it something that you passed on? I know they sold pretty quick. I think if this colorway would have released, you know, a year after the Shatter Backboard colorway, I think they'd be reselling for a lot higher. But for me, I honestly do not care because I want stuff to be pretty readily available as far as even just the resale prices not being super high. And these are coming in at around, you know, 50 to $100 over retail. And it was just really refreshing to be able to walk into a store I was not expecting to see these. It's been a pair that's been on my radar, like I said. And just to be able to pick them up and be like, wow, size 10 and a half, I'll grab them. So it was definitely cool to have that feeling again where you walked into a store. But like I mentioned, the materials on these are pretty nice. You can see it's pretty textured and just very soft on the upper on the Air Jordan 1 Taxi. Um, they have that really nice nylon tongue. I know for a little while there, they were putting some leather patches at the top. I'm happy they went to the standard, you know, 
just the print and uh, stitch of the Air Jordan 1 and not the leather. I was not a fan of that at all. That's really gonna be it for today's video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look and just a quick story as far as just walking in to my local champs. Something else that I was able to grab while I was there, just give me one second. Five minutes later. Was this pair for my son. It's gonna be a Christmas gift. And as you can see, it says Jordan 1 Retro High OG, Varsity Red, Black Sale. Um, I just walked in, I saw these on the shelf. I grabbed them, asked for them. I went to the counter to pay for them. And then I saw these behind the counter, the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. So I guess stores are starting to get the kids pairs in. This is a preschool pair. So my son is a size two right now. I got these in a size three. So by summertime, he should be able to wear them. But it was just super cool to be able to walk into your local store and just get surprised by two pairs. And uh, for me, it's this is a great pickup. This is gonna be a Christmas gift for my son, Matthias. I know he loves his black and royal Air Jordan ones. And it's just cool to see that the kids pairs come with pretty much everything the adult pairs come with, with the black and white laces and just that overall aged look on the upper with that cracked leather and that sail midsole. So definitely a cool pickup alongside the Air Jordan 1 Taxi. It was just really refreshing to find the Air Jordan 1 High Lost and Found or Chicago colorway. But that's gonna do it for today's video on the Air Jordan 1 High OG in the Taxi colorway. Let me know down in the comments, did you guys pick these up? Were they on your radar? and just the overall colorway. Are you guys a fan of this colorway? I really enjoy it because it reminds me of the shattered backboard, but nonetheless, it's just a clean colorway that you can really wear with almost anything. As always, stick around for the end of the video as I will throw these on foot real quick so you, can guys, you guys can get a pretty quick on foot look of the Air Jordan 1 High OG in the taxi colorway. As always, if you guys could like, comment and subscribe it helps the channel a ton stick around for the on foot portion at the end of the video and check out my instagram over at 23mj88 as it is an extension of my youtube channel with all my pickups basketball footage and nostalgia as a whole check it over there if you guys have any questions feel free to inbox me over on instagram but as always thanks for watching and until next time peace I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf I never switch sides, like even when I die I'm a ride for the squad, let a